Many local school districts are just starting distance learning this week. Garces Memorial High School was one of the first to start in early August. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joins us live with a look at what distance learning looks like for these high school students and teachers. Daniela. That's right. Good morning. Well, Garces Memorial High School is now on week four of distance learning, and we got a look at what that looks like for these high school students. And while they still experience technology issues like most schools are during this time, it looks like students and teachers are getting used to the new normal. Good morning, Ram family. At Garces Memorial High School, school is in session, but classes are empty with only teachers on campus teaching at a distance. All right. Good morning, guys. If you can, go out, go ahead and up, open up your Ithaca High School worksheet, and we're going to go over that for our warm-up today. If you didn't quite hear in the beginning, I know my uh, tech is a little bit dodgy today. We're going to go ahead and start with our journals. So we're on journal number six. Um, so let's go to Class Kick and start working on that. Even after four weeks of classes, teachers and students are still experiencing learning curves when it comes to unexpected technology issues and distant communication. Mr. Amy, I, I couldn't find where to turn it in, so I think I emailed it to you. Is that okay? Uh, no, turn it into iTunes U. Mm -hmm. All right. When I clicked on something, it froze, and so I told them, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to restart the Zoom. Just come back into the waiting room in like two minutes. And when I came back, all 20 of them were already in, in the class waiting. As one of the first schools in Kern County to start distance learning, the teachers say something they've learned during that time is to give clear directions and be flexible when it comes to teaching. Online teaching 101. Don't know where to turn in my work. I mean, honestly, I haven't really had this problem like very much at all, but I mean, when it does, I mean, it's just kind of shuffling around lesson plans. I mean, we try to just be as flexible as possible. And Aside from challenges with technology that they say they only started experiencing this week, teachers say distance learning has opened the door for innovative and creative ways to learn. You can see them typing in like real time. So it says Alexis is currently here. And so as she's like, as they're writing their journals and stuff, I can see them and I usually give comments or I say, okay, make sure you're writing the entire time. I think they feel more comfortable to ask questions because one, they're not surrounded by a bunch of people, they're by themselves in their room. And then two, they're almost forced to because they don't have any of those resources at home. Now, another thing that Garces Memorial High School is doing to make this time feel somewhat normal for students is setting guidelines ahead of class. So students still have to wear a Garces uniform t-shirt and as well as be sitting at a desk before the start of class. For now, we're live at Garces. I'm Danielle Garrido, 23BC News, connecting you. Thanks, Daniela. The Kern